strange portal. Marshall and Chase is enjoying a bowl of pup treats. Perhaps it's the best pup treat they ever have. Suddenly, a strange portal appeared. The portal started to suck Chase in. Marshall cried out for Chase but he was gone. Marshall was scared but wanted his friend Chase back. So Marshall followed Chase into the portal. Marshall is being transported through the portal. He had no idea where he was headed. Suddenly the portal spat Marshall out. Marshall dazed and confused. Had no idea where he was. Suddenly Marshall heard someone in the distance. Suddenly Marshall noticed something approaching him. Marshall stopped in his tracks. He was so scared he just froze. Suddenly... Why, hello there. I'm Minecraft Steve. Who are you? Ask Minecraft Steve. Hello Minecraft Steve. My name is Marshall and I am looking for my friend Chase. Have you seen him by any chance? Hello Marshall. Nice to meet you. Said Minecraft Steve. What does your friend look like? My friend wears a police uniform and goes by the name Chase. Said Marshall. No I am afraid I have not seen anyone with a description around here. I can see that you came through that portal. Perhaps he is in another universe. Thank you Minecraft Steve I will continue my search. Said Marshall. Thank you for saving my life earlier. I will be on my way now. Wait. Before you go. I want you to have this. It may help dig you out of trouble should you run into any. Said Minecraft Steve. Thank you Minecraft Steve. I will always remember you. Goodbye now. <laughs> to be continued. Close Encounter Marshall was enjoying some pup treats at the local shop when he realized how late it was. He thanked the shopkeeper and left the shop. It was quite dark outside and he can hear the sound of owls hooting. Suddenly rain started to pour down on Marshall. It was fast approaching midnight. Marshall was quite scared and hurried home. As Marshall rushed back home, he forgot which way to go home and was lost in the graveyard. Suddenly he heard sounds and turned around. Marshall screamed at the sight, and ran as fast as he could. He ran and ran. <laughs> Running for his life, he kept running and running. Until finally he decided to stop. Marshall hid in the tall grass and hoping that that he would not be seen. The headless horseman looked for Marshall. Finally he gave up and left. <laughs> Marshall let out a sigh of relief. From that day onwards Marshall vowed not to go out late at night and certainly never alone. He was lucky this time, but might not be next time. Missing Pups Ryder and Marshall stared at the haunted house. Ryder put on a flashlight so he and Marshall could see better in the dark. Ryder and Marshall set off for the scary house on the hill to find the other pups. The house was very old with scary looking windows. It was creepy. Come on, 
Marshall! Let's go inside, Ryder said leading the way. Marshall nervously followed closely behind. After opening the door, they slowly got inside the scary house. See? That wasn't so bad! Ryder said calmly. Suddenly, the front door slammed shut with a loud bang. Ah! The pub screamed in fright, as Marshall hugged Ryder for protection. Ryder then noticed the closed door, and walked over to open it. Ah! Marshall! We're locked in! Ryder said nervously. Let's look around and see what's in the house, but we should stick together. Marshall said. There were some scary paintings on the wall. As they looked around the house, they found bedsheet covered furniture, dusty items, and knight's armor. While they were looking around however, they heard a strange noise. Ah! Marshall shouted in fright as he hugged Ryder. This place is creepy! Marshall commented. Yeah! Ryder agreed. Ryder shook his head. I'm sure there's a simple explanation. Well, this is the living room. I wonder if there's any information about the missing pups? Ryder said as he looked around. Suddenly, Ryder found a piece of paper with a list written on it. Ryder's eyes widened. Marshall, take a look at this. Ryder said as he showed Marshall the list. Marshall gasped. Written in pencil were the names and breeds of each pup from the legend. To be continued. Knock knock. It was a rainy night. Marshall was home alone. Ryder had gone out to grab some more pup treats. Marshall was relaxing and enjoying some quality shows on the TV when suddenly... He heard some noises coming from upstairs, thinking that it is only his imagination. He carried on watching the show. There it is again! Marshall thought it's best to go investigate to see what the noise is. So he braved up and went upstairs to see. Marshall checked on the bedroom. Marshall can see the windows left open, that's what is making the noise. Marshall told himself. Marshall went over to close the window. There we are! Another mystery case solved by Marshall. Marshall proceeded to go back downstairs. When Marshall went back downstairs something strange happened. Suddenly Marshall was in an old abandoned house. He could hear all kind of scary sounds coming from all over the house. Then suddenly the doorbell rang. Hello? Hello? Is there anyone home? Someone was asking on the other side of the door. Yes I am home! Said Marshall. Hi, my name is Hans. I have some food here. Ryder asked me to drop them at the house since Ryder had to run off to get other things. Could you please let me in so I can drop them off? Certainly! Said Marshall. Just hold on for one minute. I can't quite reach the door latch. I'll go grab a chair! Said Marshall. Excellent! Said Hans with an evil grin. Now where did I leave that stool? We interrupt this program to bring you... Have you seen this man? There have been several reports of a dog snatcher on the loose. Please be on the lookout. Marshall remembers seeing that face somewhere. He looks quite familiar. Then he remembered... Hans is the dog snatcher. Marshall confronted Hans and refused to open the door. Please let me in so I can drop off your food, said Hans. 
You are Hans the dog snatcher aren't you? I've seen you on the news. When Hans heard this he ran away. From that day onwards. Marshall promised to himself that he will not open the door to people he didn't know. Double Trouble In a faraway planet Martian boy said goodbye to his best friend Martian Rubble. Goodbye. As Martian Rubble left on his rocket, he heard a loud bang. Self-destruct sequence will initiate in 60 seconds. All personnel please exit immediately. Self-destruct sequence has initiated. Martian Rubble realized that he needed to do an emergency landing. He headed for Earth. Martian Rubble figured that he would need some tools to repair the ship. He head out to look for some tools. Martian Rubble returned with some tools and began repair. Success! Martian Rubble went to return the tools he had borrowed. Meanwhile, Earth Chase and Earth Rubble spotted the rocket. The rocket began counting. They rushed on board the rocket ship. Martian Rubble was left behind as the rocket shot into space. Meanwhile on board the rocket ship, Chase and Rubble have no idea how to control the rocket ship. They had no idea where it was heading. They looked out the window and can see that Earth is getting smaller and smaller as they drifted away into space. The rocket ship was now going higher and higher into space. Chase looked over at Rubble. Unknowingly they were headed for. Suddenly they can see it clearly. Danger is ahead of them. They drifted through this strange planet. They have never seen anything quite like it. Suddenly they appear out of nowhere. There was a blue monster with huge bangs. A gigantic orange monster with pointy horns. A one-eyed yellow cyclops monster. Suddenly they found a lost astronaut. To be continued. Change lanes. Use this to move the vehicle and change lanes. Avoid the obstacles. Change lanes to avoid things on the road. Be careful.
truck water bubbles. Use this to point to the correct area. Then hold down to shoot water. Marshall, you put the fire out. Rubble's right. It looks like there's a missing fire hydrant. Like you'll have to continue on Paw. Marshall, lead the way. Movement. Use this to move the pup. Great, but be careful. We don't know how much damage the fireworks may have caused. You'll have to jump to keep going. Jump! Press this to jump. There are a lot of pup treats waiting. Possum! Keep up the good work. You're almost there. Don't forget to pick up all the pup treats you find along the way. to switch from one pup to the other. Paw interaction. Press this inside the circle to act. Drill. Move this to place the drill. Then... as you can.
Use your fire axe. Marshall's dual axes. Use these to move the axes. Quick, Liberty! Look for the fastest route to move forward. <laughs> 